Dear baby boomers, if you can lend me your ear, here today I have found a way to explain a profound common ground that we stand upon, maybe a generational phenomenon that explains our current view. See, I'm a millennial. Now wait, don't get all cynical. See, deep down inside, we're not that different. And I don't think you've been given the credit where it clearly deserves to be given. We were raised in different times. Yours was one of stay in line. Listen, don't talk back. You were told when to talk, don't run, walk, and you better know how to act. Parents ruled and kids were out of sight and out of mind. And a child expressing their emotions was considered a crime. I couldn't even fathom to live such an emotionally closed life. I can't imagine. But credit to you who have made the choice and said that this new generation will be sure to have a voice. And all work makes Johnny a dull boy. So you made sure our Christmases were filled with toys. But still you taught me the importance of hard work. And when it came with dealing with other people, you taught me not to be a jerk. You told me if I try hard enough, I can win. And you also taught me that love triumphs everything. But let's stop for a minute and look what, where we're at. You, just like your parents' generation, you're falling into the same trap. And look, I get it. I know change is hard. It is for everyone. But the only reason change is hard for you is because you're the only one that has work that needs to be done. And trust me, I'm not saying that as, as an attack. This isn't a smart-ass millennial comeback. I'm not trying to be mean. It's just a fact. The reason we don't have to make a change is because when we came into this world, we felt the same. And it's not that we're disrespectful and unruly. It's just that we're not going to cower to something that we don't believe. Look, I'm not asking you to change your beliefs and agree. I'm just asking you to see that you were once just like me. Thank you.